up guys welcome back to my channel so i just finished watching the first episode of the falcon and the winter soldier uh you guys know that my reaction is under my youtube memberships if you guys don't know what that is it is a uh, little perks exclusively for members only that i've got over there i've got two levels of memberships over there level one is for 2 dollars and you're gonna get priority replies for me special polls and live streams Level 2 is for $4.99, and you're going to get everything that Level 1 has. Plus, you're going to get all of my reactions to all the shows that I may watch, any movies, and all of my uncut Try Not to Laughs. So, I actually really enjoyed this first, uh, this first episode. So, of course, we see and we know how all this ended. Captain America gave uh, Falcon the shield. And in this episode, we see that he actually gave up the shield... Uh, you know, he's at the Smithsonian where he's got the shield, you know, he gave the shield to them um, to put in a case. And um, he's walking around with a, oh, what's his name, Don Cheadle. Um, he's walking around talking to him and everything. And he almost looks like as he's talking to him, he's kind of looking around and He's kind of like, I don't know if he kind of regrets it or he doesn't want to do it, but he feels he should type of thing. He did say to him when he gave him the shield, he was like, I feel like this belongs to someone else. And he was like, it just, it belongs to Steven. Like it, you know, it's his, it doesn't belong to him. So he gave it up. Um, so it's there now. Um, so then we see, like, <laughs> the Winter Soldier, or Bucky, We I thought, I didn't know that he was dreaming, but we see that he's in this place, um, he, like, busts through a wall at what seems to be, I don't know if it's a museum, a hotel, I don't know what it is, but he's there, and there's this Asian kid there who... Um, I guess he was with some friends. They were going to go out. He stayed behind. And he busts through the th the wall. And he's like killing all these dudes or whatever. And then he sees the guy. And the, the, the boy is like, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. And he shoots him. And I was just like, oh, man, like that's messed up. But then he wakes up. And I'm like, oh, that was way back when. So the funny thing is we see him talking to his therapist and his therapist clearly knows him very well because he's sitting there lying about every single thing about having dreams and he's going down the list of things or people that he wants. He wants people to do right or fix their wrongs or something like that if I'm understanding that correctly. So he's got like a notebook full of names. And there's this conversation with this lady. He's, she's having this conversation in the car. And while the therapist is asking him, okay, there's three rules. Rule number one. Okay, whatever it is that you do it has to be legal. Clearly, he didn't do anything legal. Um, they were in a car. He made the car go back and forth. Number two, I guess nobody gets hurt. He hurt the passenger, of course, and he's lying all about it. And then number three, um, he kind of let her go. And... I forgot what it was that he said, but, you know, he is supposed to be working through some things. And he's sitting there lying, lying, lying. He's got, like, no friends, nobody, right? So the therapist is like, let me see your phone. So she sees that the only person he called was her. So he's like, you need to, like... Oh, and he keeps ignoring Sam's text, apparently. Um, we haven't seen them interact yet, but there, there was a point to be made when she said that. So clearly he's been trying to reach out. And he's been ignoring the text. So anyway, we see him go into a bar. He Then we see this older gentleman. Um, I forgot his name, but he's arguing with a neighbor because his neighbor's throwing his trash in his garbage can. So he comes along and he's like, you know, we're supposed to go out for lunch like we always do. He's like, I'm not in the mood today. He was like, well, I'll buy. He was like, all right, but I'm not talking. So it's they have like this cute friendship or whatever. So we're at, they're at the bar, they're having um, some food, and then there's a bartender there, and 
the guy, the old guy, sets him up on a date. He's like, you need to ask her out. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that. So he goes and asks her out. And then she's kind of like waiting everyone. And then all of a sudden he sees this plate of mochis. And um, he starts looking sad. And, you know, Bucky's like, what's wrong? And he's just like, my son, he used to love red bean mochis. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the dude that he killed that we saw in the beginning is his son. And he knows it. He knows it. Like he could see it in his face. He knows it. And so I'm like, oh man, like this sucks. So anyway, just to go back. So we see that Falcon is fighting these dudes with these military guys. And it just opened up insane. Like that was an absolute crazy fight scene. The way that he was fighting these dudes in the plane, the way he came in the plane, the way that he was fighting them in the air, the way they was dodging these missiles. Like that was crazy. I really enjoyed every bit of that. And then the final thing, when he figured out how to dodge these missiles, he went through the helicopter, grabbed that military dude that he was supposed to grab. And then the thing blew up and he saved him and his boy who was waiting for him down in the truck or whatever. He's like jumping up and down all happy and everything. So they're having like a few drinks or whatever while he's trying to fix, uh, I think it's Red Wing or something, his Red Wing. So they're talking and there's these guys that the guy, you know, his friend, his military friend wants to look after. Like there's something up with those dudes. And I didn't really quite understand what they do, but I know they're bad guys. So he was going to monitor them, but he ended up going personally. So all these people are standing around in the middle of this alleyway. They all have to wear masks. And eventually the guy that runs the FLA or something like that uh, beat him up or whatever. But he's part of this whole, I guess, group. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I'm sure I'll understand it more later. So he recorded everything that happened after he got beat up and he sent it to Falcon. Now, he has a sister and two nephews and they're trying to work together to keep their family's boat. And we see their interaction and he really loves his sister. And I like, I like how they're going back and forth trying to fight to get this loan to fix up the boat to keep it and everything. And so I like that family dynamic that they've got going there. Um... Then when we saw that um, the, the, his military friend was talking to him about what he saw, he sent him the video and everything he's seeing, Falcon asks him, did he do anything else after outside of that? He was just like, no, why? He was like, no reason. So I don't know what he was asking. I don't know what he was expecting, but I feel like as strong as he looked, when he threw him like that and, and, and he slammed him on the ground, which I was absolutely insane. Um, I feel like <laughs> he's probably like a bad guy, but like a bad superhero, not like a villain, you know. Um, but well, I guess I'll see later on. Of course, a lot of you guys probably already saw it. Um, so now Bucky went to go. He's on this date with the girl with the bartender and they're talking and they're sitting there playing a game and they're going back and forth about family and they're talking about the older guy and so he goes back to the older guy's apartment and i feel like he went over there to tell him that he was the one who killed him or what happened and when he opened the door he saw the picture of his son with a candle or whatever and it's like he froze and he was just like he gave him money for lunch and he left and he's got his name circled in his notebook. And I'm like, man, like, did he go over there to tell him? And he just can't do it. You know, like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, man, I enjoyed this first episode. So I can't wait to see episode two. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed my review and my thoughts. Let me know what you guys thought of episode one of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!